All right, we're uh, going to perform the experiment where we're using density to date a coin in terms of the materials that I need. It's uh, pretty slim. I need some pre and post 1982 pennies. We've already sorted those. Uh, pre-1982 pennies, those that were manufactured before 1982 and those that are post. We also have a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. The procedure calls for a plastic cup. We're using plastic weigh boats here uh, that we're going to be then using on our digital balance, okay? Uh, ahead of time, I've gone ahead and made a data table to record all of my information uh, that I need to in this experiment here. So picking up with the procedures, one of the first things that I need to do is record uh, all of my measurements, and one of those is to measure the mass of our plastic weigh boat. So using my digital balance and recording that measurement to the appropriate precision as indicated on that instrument is what I'm going to be writing down here. So I've got 2.11 grams for this. It says to pour about 50 milliliters of water into the graduated cylinder, about does not mean exactly. Uh, you can just use tap water here. So what they're saying is just to get it about halfway full. Uh, the appropriate way to measure the volume on your graduated cylinder is to place it on a flat surface. And then from eye level, uh, I'm going to then read the bottom of the curved part of the liquid that's called the meniscus. So when I take a look at this measurement here, uh, I can see that if I report this to the appropriate precision, there's a marking every whole milliliter. So I want to record that volume to one place past that lowest graduation point there. So taking a look, I've got my measurement, and I'm going to record that also on my data table. Then it says to add five pre-1982 pennies to my graduated cylinder. One, two, three, four, I've got five pre-1982 pennies. Uh, I'm sorry, it takes it, take their mass first. So I'm gonna put those five on, the, uh, on my digital balance, making sure that it was reading triple zeros to begin with before I place anything on it. Once that mass has had a chance to level out, I'm gonna record the mass of those pennies that was added. Then I'm gonna add these five pennies to the graduated cylinder. I'm going to tilt my graduated cylinder as not to splash any water out of it. I've got some bubbles in there, so I'm going to tap to get those bubbles out as to not affect the volume reading. And then after having taken my initial volume in previous steps, I'm going to take and record the new volume so that I can determine the total volume of the water that was displaced. In step seven of the procedure, it says to repeat steps five and six, which is to get a new set of five pennies. Three, four, five. Place those five pennies on the digital balance to determine the mass of the pennies added. I'll record that in my data table. Then I'm gonna take those five pennies and add them to my graduated cylinder in the same fashion. Tilt the graduated cylinder, not to splash. If you've got any bubbles, you can tap those out. And then I'm going to record that new volume again to determine the volume of the water that has been displaced by adding those five pennies. I'm going to continue in this fashion until I've done that for all 25 of my pre-1982 pennies. At that time, dump the pennies out, dry them off really well, and get a new 50 milliliters of water or so in my graduated cylinder and perform the same uh, data collection for the post-1982 pennies.